again, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back. Little different today. I am doing a supply video. So if you're anything like me and you've been a part of the journaling or planner community for quite some time, you will recall a couple years ago, or I don't think it was that far back, but a while back, uh, there was this craze with the classic -y wooden boxes. Now, if you don't know what they are, I will list them down below. Uh, but they are these beautiful wooden boxes that average for about $120, I think, for each box. Now, I really wanted one. They look beautiful. But I just couldn't justify spending $120. And I kind of just gave up hope on eventually getting one. Um, and so I left it at that. I just so happened that I was walking around and I popped in on a store called Nanu Nanu here in Germany. And I found this beautiful wooden box. I don't know if it's, I think it's real wood. Um, beautiful wooden box with this, I think it's like burnt into the actual wood, this design here. And it, it immediately made me think of those classic-y toolboxes. So for 12 euro, I brought this home with me. Uh, now I did a video a couple of days, I think last week, where I was talking about Megan and the Moon and how she has this daily challenge that she, or not daily challenge, but like daily prompts that she's been coming up with this entire year so far, where she really challenges herself to, or I wouldn't say challenges herself, but she makes it a point to use her supplies. And, I've, you know, I've been following her for a while and it really got me thinking about just the amount of consumption and just how much I buy as a journaler. Much like any other subculture, there are ebbs and flows and trends and I have found myself falling victim to a lot of those trends. And so over the years, I've accumulated a lot of supplies and things that at the time were really popular and just it seemed like I had to have it and then I never used them. And I was just kind of tired of it, honestly. So after getting this box and thinking about what I could put in it, I decided to use this as a supply capsule. Now this is, I've tried finding a few YouTube videos on supply capsules I'm going to just kind of give you guys what I think it is, if that's not the actual like definition or how act people actually use that. Um, this is how I'm going to do it for the sake of myself and my supplies. So a supply capsule, from my understanding, is essentially a collection of things in your stash of supplies that you want to use more and so you compile it all at the start of the month or for whatever point in time and you kind of push yourself to use the things that are in your supply capsule so i decided to go through everything that i own well a majority of the things that i own and pull out supplies that i've had for longer than a year things that I have not used or touched in months uh, and some supplies that I haven't even and some supplies that I haven't used at all and I put that all in this box and here is what I came up with first things first I picked up some of these uni emote fineliner pens I bought them and have used them zero times like I fall victim to the whole buy markers and markers and markers and yeah, I never use them. So I figured this would be a good start because these are water resistant and I believe they're also fade resistant. Um, so I do plan on using these to draw more in my journal this month. The next thing that I have here in terms of uh, supplies is this pen roll that I made. I made this like peak COVID quarantine time. I tried sewing and 
I found this beautiful fabric at Hobby Lobby and I turned this into a color pencil roll. Now, these are a mixture of Prismacolor pencils and Jane Davenport color pencils. I used to use these to just kind of give final touches in my watercolor drawings and things like that. But honestly, I don't reach for these. Like these have been in this pen roll probably for a year now. So I am going to attempt to do more drawing in my journal. And I'm going to try and use these as like not just adding detail, but actual like color pencil drawings, which is not something I've ever done. So here's hoping I don't royally mess that up. So color pencils. I don't even know if I'm in frame right now. Oop. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, next thing, these are some stamps. Uh, these are our studio stamps, apparently. I bought these from Yoseka. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever actually used these. I bought them because they looked really, really cute. But yeah, never, never used. Which is, you know, disappointing. I find that that happens a lot with me. And like I said, falling into those trends and FOMO and then things just stay in my stash. Okay, um, second stamp is this El Elle's Studio Alpha stamp. It's got the alpha alphabets and uh, numbers. These have also never been used. Now I have three smaller stamps. These I got um, around Christmas time for from that Art by Marlene advent calendar. I I think I used maybe this one. Uh, I filmed a video where I unboxed it and I made something using the supplies and I have not touched them since. And I picked these little uh, bird ones because it is springtime here in Germany and birds have just been hanging out in my backyard and they sing and chirp outside my window all day long and all night long, surprisingly. Um, so I figured these were appropriate for this month. I do have a couple of like washi strip things. The first ones I'll talk about, these I've had in my stash for at least five years. Yeah, you heard me right there, five years. I subscribed to the Planner Society for about a year back when I still lived in Texas. So I moved to Maryland in, what, 2017, I think, 2017, 2018. And that was the last time I lived in Texas, 2017. Um, and I got these before then. So yeah, quite very, very old. I don't even think that this company, because it was from uh, an Etsy shop who designed these specifically for the Planner Society. I don't even think that Etsy shop is still like in business. But yeah, these are essentially like washi or sticky page flags. And I never, I never finished them and I didn't de-stash them. They just kind of taken up space. So I figured now is as good a time as any to use them. Uh, the next washi-esque thing I have, my Kitta washi. So I went through, I think I own, what, like eight or nine of these? I went through all of my Kitawashi little booklets and pulled out a strip from each one. This is another thing that I fell into that. <laughs> the appeal of Kitawashi. I ordered a whole bunch and like I rarely, rarely use these. I think if I could go back in time and tell myself, I'd tell myself not to buy these because 
I mean, honestly, I just, uh, I don't find myself reaching for them. And I think it has to do with the fact that you have to peel off the backing where like if I had a roll of washi, I could just rip off a strip. And so I think the extra step kind of makes me not use them as much. But yeah, if I could go back in time and stop myself from buying these, I would. So I put those in here. In terms of like actual washi rolls, um, I have, let's start here. This is a roll from the Planner Society. Just a pink, pink washi with the black floral. This is a roll of washi from James Burke. I, whenever he like would release washi tape, I panic bought a roll because it's one of those things where it's like, um, at least with like Etsy sellers, you don't know how often they can restock and I fall victim to FOMO time and time again. So I just buy them all. So that way I don't have to worry about regretting missing out later. And then I end up with the rolls of washi that I never use. So yeah, this one. Um, this is a random map washi. I I think I got this one in a, I bought this from someone's tea stash. I don't even think I got this from an actual store. So I don't know where this is from. Um, oh, there's two. Okay. Um, this is from, I don't eat, I don't know like a Heidi swap thing, I think maybe. Uh, this is a random black and white washi. This is from the Honey Bee Shop. I got it because I thought it was really cool. I've used it maybe once. And then you're just generic blue striped washi. So yeah, I try to keep like black and white, a little bit of blue. Which, in hindsight, maybe I should have gone with more spring colors, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, in terms of, like, actual, like, paper scraps. So, I recently started doing this new, or, or started a new organization system for my uh, monthly ephemera and collage sheets that I get from Patreon creators. Let me pull these out. Okay. So I bought these like really big zip pouches from Muji. I think this is the, cause there's two sizes. This is the A5 size. And I started just keeping ephemera by creator. So this is my pocket journal, Pam. This is Susie from Susie's tiny desk. And yeah, and I have a whole bunch of these, but I also have an entire stack of collage sheets where everything is just all mixed in and they're from months and months ago. So what I did was I got that stack of ephemera where everything was just all mixed together and just pulled out a chunk and that's what I have. <laughs> So I put this in this little pouch that I think I got from Joann's on clearance. Um, I also have some bits from Flow Magazine, like just little tiny bits. Pam and Denny Mae June. Um, but yeah, it's just like a random assortment. This was one that I made of paper scraps. I figure if I try and stick to using this up, um, I'll hopefully bring down the stack of paper bits that I have everywhere. So yeah, there's no, like I didn't pick anything specifically, like literally I just grabbed and went. This is a sticker sheet from Sprinkled Pug. I don't know if she still sells these, um, she used to do like mini sheets where it was like a dollar per mini sheet. So I bought a whole bunch of the Bob's Burgers one because I was obsessed with Bob's Burgers for like the longest time. As a matter of fact, my one of my favorite mugs is a mug of Tina's face that I bought two of because the first one broke and so I bought a replacement. 
But yeah, so I have a whole bunch of those sticker sheets, so I put one in here to use. These are just like random paper scraps to kind of put as like little collage clusters and stuff. So those are ephemera pieces. Um, oh, and then these are the larger, like, um, larger sheets of paper. Because I bought a whole bunch of paper pads when I moved here to Germany. Because uh, the store here, Teddy's, and I think it's just Teddy's really, they sell these like, little paper pads and so I bought a whole bunch of them and now I have all these different pattern papers everywhere. So this is me trying to use up some of that stuff. Now the other thing is, the other thing that I have in here are stationary pieces. So I bought a ton of these style notepads. My goal for these, or my, you know, what I thought I wanted these for was to write pen pal letters. But in the years that I've attempted to write pen pal letters, I have discovered two things. The first being finding pen pals is kind of difficult. Um, it's hard to find and build that consistency with someone. Um, I like sending happy mail. Like I love sending like random packages, random like just letters to people because I know it makes me really happy to get letters, um, like, you know, handwritten letters and things. And I think it's also really cool to like exchange stationery with people. Uh, but yeah, so I found it's hard to find people uh, to... I also find that I'm really bad at consistency with <laughs> mailing letters. Uh, I think it's gotten worse now because, because I am living that military life. I move around every few years. So I think it's one, a little difficult in that regard. But also right now, because anytime I want to mail something, I have to go to the post office on base. It's not like I can just walk to a post office down the street or anything. Like I have to drive and go through the whole process to get on and off the base to mail a letter and it's the one post office for everyone so of course lines are long and yeah anyway so I bought a whole bunch of these sorry tangent over and I don't like even if I wrote a letter every year it would take me my entire lifetime to get through all of these little booklets. And I didn't just stop buying this size. I bought smaller sized ones and I bought like Japanese notepads and all of these things and I never use them. So I decided to go through and just pull out little pieces to use in my journal because honestly, I feel like that's probably the only way I'm going to be able to get through some of these. So yeah, I think, I should only be one in there. I think my plan for this is to use these, one, to either cut out the images and make little like sticker flakes to stick in my journal. I'm like that's adorable. Or uh, use them as journaling spots and or the second the third option is to put them uh behind note cards to make tippins i guess i could also use this i mean this size might work in my gratitude journal in the boxes maybe i didn't even check that out let me let me see okay I wonder if it would fit. Oh, hey, you know what? That kind of does. All right, so yeah, I could totally use that for that as well. But anyway, so that's kind of what my plan was for these. And then I'll set these aside. 
So I have the larger one. So same thing. I could cut that out and use it as a border for a photo or, a, you know, a border around my actual journal. And if you've ever received happy mail from me, you probably recognize some of these. This little panda set, which is this one here, is like my favorite, favorite one out of all the ones that I own because I just love how quirky it is. But yeah, so that's those. Um, the other type that I got, um, so I ordered these notepads from, I think, I got them at either Yo Saka Stationery or Nico Neko, I think. Uh, I might be saying that name wrong. And honestly, I bought them because they looked beautiful and the paper so thick and just, you can just feel the texture on it. It's freaking gorgeous. And I never ever have used a single sheet, like at all. I think it was one of those things where it was like too pretty to use and I didn't, I didn't want to waste the supply and that fear kept these beautiful notepads shoved in a box in the far recesses of my craft room. So yeah, so these things, I have an alphabet sticker sheet and then a sticker book that I got from a Tuesday morning. This is just a random sticker book that I've had for years and I don't use it as often as I would like to. So yeah, that in a nutshell is my supply capsule for this month. Now, I do want to kind of just let you guys know that yes, I am attempting to make more of a conscious effort to use the items here in this box, but I'm not going to, how can I say, limit myself solely to this. In terms of like the alphabet, the stamps, the alphabet stamps, the washi tape, um, and the sticker books, Yes, that's 100% all I'm going to use uh, that this month. But like for things like some of my ephemera pieces, I do want to use them up. But I'm, my goal is to not, I'm not going to try and push myself to use up every single piece of ephemera. It's more of a push to get me to use it. So if there are some images that I want to use from current the current month's collage sheets, I'm not going to say no to that I'm still going to use them but I'm only going to do that as kind of like a last resort like I'm going to grab from here first and if I want to add something else to supplement that I will if that makes sense um same thing for these I might still like if I find that coloring my whole drawing and color pencils is takes too long or is too uh too much because I do like I said I do journal in an A5 undated and the Tamoya River paper is very very thin so it leaves indentation so I'm not 100% sure if coloring images solely in color pencils is going to work I don't know what that's going to look like in terms of like I said indentation and stuff so if I find that it doesn't work I will probably use these in conjunction with watercolors but only as a last resort but yeah so that is my May supply capsule. These are things that I really, really want to use. Um, it's more of an effort, like I said, to reach for the supplies. I don't see myself de-stashing any of these items just because um, it's kind of a pain <laughs> to mail everything out. So, uh, But yeah, so this is just me trying to shop my stash not buy as many things and just appreciate the beautiful items already in my collection. But okay, with that, I will leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if a supply capsule is something you're thinking of doing, feel free to let me know down below. 
Uh, if you have if you have a YouTube channel where you also plan on making a supply a supply capsule, or if your Instagram, for example, if you have one and you want to post a photo of yours, feel free to list it down below. And yeah, I'll be sure to check that out. But all right, guys, with that, I will uh, let you all go. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You guys have a good one. Bye.